She's still asleep. Good. Go on, then. Get it out. Jesus. Can I hold it? Help yourself. How's that? Relax. Loosen your grip. Make you feel part of it. Give him another five minutes. It's not our work, my friend. Give me the gun back. Nick, don't. Just leave her and get out. Not gonna happen. Look, she can't identify us. She's trumped up to the eyeballs. It's not the point. We had a deal. I've been very fair, and he's not come through with the money. So it's good night, God bless, little lady. No! Please don't! Oh, bloody time. Yeah, sorry. What's going on? Do you know script? It's good. Gonna send it to the bill. Virgin to Jean, RJ. Right, work for today. I've got the Harrington's kitchen to finish, and Terry, can you do the snagging at Golden Hours? Am I with you, boss? No, you are not, my friend. You are with Mr. Forsyth. Finish the Forsyths. Not according to him, you aren't. The man's a total wanker. Well, in that case, he must be ambidextrous, because he's managed to write this with his free hand. You write so for a ruler? What a knob. Look, he's Jesus and his wives are over the line. That's mental. Just read it. Never in my life. Shoddy workmanship. Exhibit A. He's taken photos. Oh, yes. How anal's that? If you stuck a lump of coal up his arse, you'd have a diamond in a fortnight. Right. Paint on the old carpet. Replacement value. Paint on bathroom suite, 150 quid. Paint on curtains, mirror, television. Christ. Did you get any on the walls? And television. When the job was hall, stairs, kitchen and bathroom. You could see the telly from the hallway, but you had to go in to change channels. What's wrong with the remote? Wasn't working. Well, did you take the back off and switch the batteries round? First thing you do. It's not funny, this. He's trying it on. You know what he's like. I know exactly what he's like, but we need his money. So get yourself round there with a heart full of humility and a bottle of turps and sort it. New business cards have arrived. Right. Oh, aye. Is your head still on security up for that new Willows estate? Yeah, it's nearly two months now. Could be a record. Might drop in while I'm passing. Drop off some of them cards. Maybe you can get them to the site for me. You never know, now they're finished, you know. The maintenance contract might be up for grabs. Yeah, but we're only use King Brothers. They've done the decorating. Might be too small a job for it. Oi, Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, listen, sorry about before I was running late. You were running wild. All right, Chernobyl, what do you know? I'll tell you what I know, this country's weather's on its arse. Hey, if it wasn't for the weather, we wouldn't have a recall. Heat wave tomorrow now, followed by thunderstorms. 30 degrees, it said on the radio, the cracking flies. We're doing that charity half marathon tomorrow. Well, make sure you wear plenty of sunblock. I've got some factor 30 in the house. Oh, thanks, I'm all right. Dehydration's my problem. I don't burn, I tan. I've got gypsy blood. That's why I'm swarthy. Swarthy? You know it. Oh, shit. Bad news. What are you psychic? He says we're 200 quid overdrawn. But I can't be right. I paid the golden hours check in last week. Oh, bollocks! Oh, bloody hell, Dean. I'll oh, careful with that. Don't go on trees, you know. What's the latest on the Agmore estate? It's a shithole. Hey, it may well be, but it's our last chance alone. Two years' work if we get that contract. Taking Greg Gates out for a curry tonight. The site manager up there. The Greg Gates we used to play football with. Yeah. RG for the hard man. Yeah. That's the one. The only one with the shampoo in the shower for problem hair. Yeah, well, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Yeah, not while you're at work, eh? Your brush works crap enough as it is. Huh? All right, huh? Oh, I am now. God, that was a long night. I saw it every hour. Isn't that the point? What do you reckon? I've still not had a job description. Hey, is Al Terry with you? No, he's uh, snagging off at the uh, golden hours. Listen, you couldn't do us a favour and find out if they sorted out the maintenance contract for the decorating, could you? Yeah, I'll have a word with uh, Tom, he's the site foreman. Yeah, how about these, Tom? Make sure he gets one props. Yeah, no props. That's us decorators, who are they? Which well, others you prune? A to Z. Well, it looks like Atos. Oh, no, where are the spaces? They've forgotten the spaces. On call, 24th of July. Oh, 
If it's a bad day there, everyone will be on holiday. No, it's 24-7. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Ah. That's catchy. It's a bit mad, though, being on call all the time. Yeah, times are hard. It's got to be done. Right, well, you leave it with me. We'll see you later. Can you do a bit? What's that red mark on your head? Got stoned last night. Try to climb up the tap. Why? Oh, like I'm supposed to remember. It is just the weed you're doing, isn't it? Hey, look, I'm clean. All right. All right, anyway, better crack on. No pun intended. But I'm telling you, if he says one more thing to me... Hey, you smile and bite your lip. <laughs> All right. I'll keep raging bull. Yeah, well, that was then and this is now. If I can keep my temper under control, so can you. Just get your head down, get it sorted, and we get paid. Right. Things really that bad? There's nothing in after next week. We need the four sides money to keep us going, so just keep a lid on it, yeah? Turn out! Come and sort your problems out. Oh, where's your boss? I want the ringmaster, not the bloody clowns. Well, if I could have a look, I could maybe make a start until he's free. All right. But you make so much as one more cock-up and I'll sue your tin pot outfit for every penny it's got. Fair enough. You won't get much for 125. Hello, Mr. Appleton. Hello, it's Paul from A to Z Decorators. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you an estimate for your downspouts and gutter. Yeah, I know, and that's why I'm calling. Because I've reviewed my figures, and I find that I can offer you a 10%. No. She's not. She didn't. Oh, well, yeah. Going up a ladder with vertigo is a recipe for disaster. When's the funeral? Is it? Oh, well, I'd best let you get back to it then. Yeah, I'll maybe give you a ring sometime next. Hello? Marjorie, where's the list I made for this lot? Oh, I put it somewhere here. Oh. I've not got bloody x-ray vision, you know, woman. Anyway, look, I've categorised and prioritised the job. So, hall, paint on the mirror, telephone and carpet. Kitchen, paint on the sink unit and so on. Do you copy? Roger. Trying to be funny? Don't think so. I'll see you at five then, dear. On the Friday? Oh, sorry, four. Pork chops. Everything in order, in order and everything. It's the rule I like to live my life by. You know what Alexander Pope said? I'm not a Catholic. Order is heaven's first law. You can start with that. Bye, Roger. No. Going for a drive. I always go out on a Friday. Anywhere nice? Three bishops come for me in a big black Rolls Royce and they take me for a ride up Winter Hill. Lovely. And then they all shag me. Big cocks. Oh, hello. Hiya. Yeah, I've just popped in to do the snagging. Shagging, yes. All of them. <laughs> she said there's three bishops coming. And she eats tropical fish. You look harassed. Skeleton staff, cock bags. Any problems with the decorating? Well, some of the wallpaper's come away in the landing and you've missed a bit of the skirting over there. All right, well, better stop chatting and get cracking. Oh, and if Alice offers you a chocolate peanut, don't have one. Hello. Hello, my name's Island. First nationwide bank. Your call is important. Please hold and one of our houses. You like your bread then? <laughs> 
I decided long ago never to walk in anyone's shadow. If I fail, if I succeed, at least I'll have my dignity. You're on your own today, Mrs. H? No. He's upstairs again. He's a martyr to his bladder. If it's not his bladder, it's his prostrate. Hello, Paul. We've given up on you. Thought you weren't coming. Yeah, sorry, I'm a bit late. Had a few problems this morning. What, is it all right using that on there? Oh, don't worry. It's not bleach, it's terps. Oh, that's a relief. I, I must apologise for Roger. I, I thought you did a first-class job. Yeah, well, so did I. Thanks. So what does he do, then? Roger. He's traffic manager for the police. Call me surprised. Uh, what do you do, then, Mrs F? Well, as of today, nothing, actually. I recently got sacked. Oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't much of a job. Manager in the cafe at Barton Hall Hospice. But it was rewarding, you know. So what happened then? Did they catch you with your hand in the till or what? No, it was much worse than that. There was a random health and safety inspection and they found some ladies' underwear in the microwave. What? Like knickers? Yes. Mary the cook had washed hers and she was drying them on rapid reheat. But they sacked you? Well, health and safety was my responsibility, so I took the blame and said they were mine. Mary's a single parent, you know, and she's not in the best of health. She suffers from irritable bowel disease. Oh, right, and you don't think that was why she was, uh, you know? What? Nothing. <laughs> oh, I love this book. I didn't have you down as a Dickens fan. Yeah, you could write a bit, couldn't you, Charlie? Yeah. Adventure. Self-sacrifice, unrequited love. Been working my way through your stuff at the library. I know, I've seen you there. Have you? Never noticed you there. That's because you've always got your head in a book. Right, yeah, I'm trying to catch up. Decided it was time to try and learn all the stuff that I should know. Stuff that I should have been taught at school. Doesn't sound like a very good school. Schools are only as good as the teachers. And generally, in my experience, the rubbish. I used to teach. Uh, well, obviously, some of them are all right. <laughs> no, but most of them, you know, they find a way of teaching that suits them. So you didn't do very well, then? Dropped out because I felt useless. Got withdrawn and depressed. Yep. I found that alcohol and glue made me feel better. But I needed money to pay for the drugs and the booze. So I got into a bit of thieving. And prison. End of story. Oh. I should crack on. Come here, you bastard! Helen? Now, don't be silly, love. Put the fork down and nobody gets hurt. This window frame shot at Mr. Harrington. Well, I've filled it as best I can, but it's rotten. Oh, well, it's going to have to last a bit longer. See your coffee, Paul. Oh, a cup of tea would be nice. Oh, dear. No, oh, coffee's all right. No, no, there's some more in the cupboard. Oh, you're all right, I'll get it. You'll keep an eye on that toast. Off now. Oh, you made a jump. They say everyone's got a novel in them. <laughs> I could do one of them. I just scroll my stuff in a notepad. Oh, so you write as well? Um, scripts, short stories, and that. I've never had anything published like. Oh, well, if at first you don't succeed. Packing the skydiving, eh? I've just finished the script about a gang who kidnap an MP's daughter. It needs a bit of work yet, though. You know, spelling, grammar, and that. That'll be Terry, so uh, I'll see you in the morning. What? Why? 
I've still got a bathroom to do. I didn't think it'd take so long. No, no, no. Roger will be here. Is that a problem? Well, you know what he's like. It'll be fine. Hey, four o'clock. Time you got the grill on. <gasps> oh, my God. Chops. Thank you very much again, Paul. Excellent job, as you usual. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> Have you got a bill for us? No, this one's on me. Oh, Paul, we couldn't. Yeah, you could. Put it towards a new window frame. That one won't last another winter. Thank you so much. Hey, no worries. What have you been doing? What? Oh, <laughs> Mad Alice stabbed me with a fork. Where's your stuff? Not finished. I'll come back tomorrow. Why? How much mess did you make? It's not all. It's him, he's mental. I'll see his list. Like her, though. Marjorie. She knows. Oh, yeah. I don't know what she sees in him. Bloody control freak. Everything in order and order and everything. That's got a ring to it. It's not his. He nicked it off the Pope. Anyway, let's get moving. He'll be back in a minute and the chops aren't done. Will you be going down the dog tonight? Friday night. Be rude not to. Yes, but will you be going to the pub afterwards? <laughs> I must have cracked that 300 times. It's still funny, though. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no. She's always off, that woman. She's a bloody hypodermic. You should have had that sister's job, not her. Yeah, well, I didn't get it, did I? Anyway, when he'll come in handy. So, here we are, Hagmore Estate. Kitchens and bathrooms first year, bedrooms second year. It's awful. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. <laughs> I mean, you never get a pizza in the or a taxi at home, but I like life's like that. I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, it'll be fine. We can handle ourselves, me, Terry and Dino, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's supposed to make me feel better, is it? They're good lads. I think you'll find they're not. Well, they are now. Besides, I can handle them. Oh, yeah. Not like you did at that shopping centre job. I sorry, what's it still call it? The Texas Chain Store Massacre. Come on, be fair. You know full well that was intimidation. King Brothers set up, so they get the contract. Yeah, and it worked, didn't it? Yeah, well... Yeah, well... And you couldn't do much from the fracture clinic, could you? And all because Terry and Dino rose to the bait. Look, Again. Terry and Dino are committed now. They've learnt their lesson. So leave it. It'll be fine. Right, so this Greg tonight... Well, is he the one that says yes or no? No, more or less. He's the side manager. Well, I like him. I wouldn't put money on it. Oi, Sabu. Avanti. Fill that up, son. <laughs> oh, here they are. Evening, Paul. <laughs> this must be the lovely Sonia. <laughs> Sheila. Uh, Greg, hard G for a hard man. <laughs> Which one? The first one. Right, so it's uh, Greg. No, it's Greg. So they're all hard then? Did you work ready for another, Greg? Oh, another bottle of leave, Frau Milk, will be good there, Paul. Uh, I'll put this one on the tab, that OK? Yeah, no problem. Well, thank you very much. Uh, can we order some drinks, please? Of course, sir. Uh, have another bottle of this wine and uh, a pint and a half of lager. Oh, and I will be wanting another pint of lager also. <laughs> <laughs> we have Indian lager, Kingfisher, Cobra. Kingfish is good. Oh, no way. We know English. We only have um, Foster's or Stella. Bah, now you're talking my language. Hmm? Sabu? I'll have a Stella. <laughs> and could we have a look at some menus as well, please? Of course, sir. Right away. Uh... Good 
going to be a scorcher tomorrow. Well, she fires in Australia. Evening, all. All right, Janice. Fire lager, please. I thought you were working tonight. Yeah, there's plenty of time. You've got to have a couple on a Friday, haven't you? How are you, Snobble? Any news on the job front? No, 53 and on the scrap heap, me. When are you going for that driving job at Uphills? Yeah, I went, but they wanted somebody with a clean licence. You told me you had 30 years without a bump. I have. Not as much as a scratch, me. Safest driver on the road. You got points on your licence, though? Five. Got done in a total miscarriage of justice for failing to report an accident. So you have had an accident, then? Well, technically, no. Technically? Well, what I'm was, the car went out of control, careered off the road and was in collision with a cabin cruiser. A cabin cruiser? On the canal. But I wasn't even in the car. How could I report an accident? So you think car? Nobody. Nobody? I fell out at the top of Winter Hill. Fell out? Winter Hill. I'd had the driver's door off to repair a dent. A dent? Which, incidentally, wasn't my fault either. <laughs> Oh, uh, hang on, Mowgli. Come here. I've got this theory, right? They've got this metal plate in their heads with two walls drilled into it. And they have to get these ball bearings into the walls before they can serve you. <laughs> That's why they're always going, oh, <laughs> 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 Bloody hell. <laughs> the one that Gandhi wore a nappy. Oh. I think it upsetting people. Bollocks. Excuse my French. No. They love it, this lot. Bit of banter. So I thought you were bringing your wife, Greg. Couldn't be asked, Paul. Could not be asked. She wouldn't have enjoyed it. Maureen hates everything foreign. Sounds like a marriage made in heaven. Oh, aye. <laughs> so what, uh, what do you do, Sonia? Sheila. Uh, I'm a nurse on accident emergency. Oh, a nurse, eh? <laughs> ding a ling a ling. <laughs> you want to uh, take my temperature? Yeah, actually, I can, I can do. I think I've got a thermometer somewhere in my bag. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I'm only playing with you. Hey, you wish. Put this under your tongue for me. I usually take it rectally, yeah, it's more accurate. But we don't want any chance that in your case, eh? Don't want your risk brain damage, would we? <laughs> so, uh, Greg, any decision on the Hag Oh, <laughs> that's confidential information, Paul. Well, I thought you said it was up to you. I know, not the final decision. Now, the site director has the final say. Yeah, what I said was he'd take my recommendations on board. And so, have you uh, been making recommendations? Indeed I have, Paul, indeed I have. And I shall continue to do so, if you know what I mean. Not the point, is it? <laughs> well, better be off. See you all. All right. See ya. Usual, is it? Aye, right, cheers. Not tonight. Gonna get up, sir. Hmm. Guess who's doing a charity half marathon tomorrow? It's for partially sighted and blind children. <laughs> but yeah, you could win that. They'll be all over the place. <laughs> They'll have a bell to follow. It'll have to be a bloody big bell. It's 13 miles. <laughs> hey, tell you what we could do. We could come and stand along the route, and if any of the kids start to pull away from you, we could just shout, Yeah, head over here, it's this way. <laughs> <laughs> so the blind children aren't actually running? Make sure you wear plenty of sunblock. No, I'm all right. I don't burn a tan. Got gypsy blood. Mm, that's why he's swarthy. You know it. You're late. I sight playing you up. I got these off a German paratrooper. Arnhem, a bridge too far. They're Japanese, then. They were there. Been drinking, have we? Drink, fags, girls, having a good time. That's all you care about, you lot. Selfish generation. I didn't fight in a war for people to walk about in Yankee caps, crap tops and body piercings. Earrings, nose rings, bolts in God knows where. No shame. You'd never have caught me with a stud in my mouth. That's not what I heard. <clears throat> well, 
Well, you finished, lads. Yeah, we were hoping to get ridge tiles done up last few, but we ran out of time. They'll be all right till tomorrow, though. Forecast's OK for tonight. Right, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, aye. Bright and early. <laughs> Oh, hey! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going on that plane! He's taking you for a fool, Paul. Look, I didn't even want half of this. I've got to play the game, haven't I? <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Oh, jeez. Toilet stink. I've ordered some wine. Blue Nun, sir. Yeah. You a toilet stink? I don't think so, sir. Come on, I'll take over here, Anthony. It's OK, we're going. Huh? Can we have the bill, please? Anthony. <laughs> Anthony, my ass. Well, that's not a Muslim packy name, is it? Right, OK. Come on, that's no, that. Sit, sit down, sit down. One minute. I promise you can time me. You will finish your wine, sir, and leave. We have a zero tolerance policy towards racism. Racialist? Me? Bollocks. For your information, I am exceptionally friendly with people of all bloody races until they rub me up the wrong way. But you are, sir, a typical local racist. Yeah, OK. <laughs> well, just open the wine so we can drink it and go out at your poxy restaurant. It's OK. I'll do it. Kid help, eh? Who rattled his cage? <laughs> Excuse me for having a laugh, eh? <laughs> oi, oi, you know what CD I've got in my car? Hmm? Motown chart busters, eh? Motown chart busters. <laughs> Explain that, eh? Explain that if I'm a racialist. Oh. And eat up, okay. There's plenty left. Do the bill, please? <laughs> 55 seconds. All right, thank you. <laughs> Couldn't sleep. Sorry if I woke you. I can hear a cutlery drawer opening at 50 paces. Watching? Don't know, I'll just flick it. <laughs> she is not a real nurse, you know. Oh, well, that's it. Spoil it for me. <laughs> Got your lucky shirt on? Yeah. No, you did good today. I was proud of you. Eventually. Shouldn't be sucking up to tossers like him. I know. It's time to call it a day, Paul. No, it's no disgrace. You'll soon find something else. I saw this in the paper. King Brothers, are you taking a piss? No way I'll go crawling back to them. They snatch your hand off. Won't be much good without a glimpse of that, would I? Oh, God, look. We can just be serious for one minute. OK. Well, just say I did go back to them, which I'm not going to, freaking cowboy. And what about Terry and Dino? It's time to cut them loose, Paul. They're deadwood and they're dragging you down. No. It's the opposite. I'm keeping them up. On their last chance. <sighs> OK, then. If you're so adamant, then it's time to take some assertive action for a change. First thing tomorrow, you go to Greg and say it was an accident. Well, you've changed your bloody tune. You shouldn't be sucking up to torsos like him. Well, it's going to be the three musketeers versus all the king's men. You don't really have an option, do you? I don't want you to grovel or crawl to the man. Just front it out with him. I'll go with you. Character witness. If I go, I'll go alone. Hey, hard G for a hard man. I'll go alone. I hope your patients don't get that kind of treatment. No, he must have gone private. Lovely day. Beautiful, isn't it? What? 
Looking nice? Yeah, yes, they've done really well this year. No, I'm... Right. Um... Got to go to work. Code red. When I come back, that bar film will be spotless and you will be long gone, Van Gogh. What? What? But he's a scream down the neck. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Do you know him yet? Been and gone. We were singing. Got the sockets there. But I might do the trick with the arch. I think it's going to need more than that. How oh, did it go last night? Shit, thanks. To cut a long story short, the end. I punched Greg Yates up in the pusher. Turns out he's not just a regular knobhead, he's the worst kind. Racist, bigoted knobhead. Looks like a belt. <clears throat> Thanks for spoiling the surprise. Oh, shit. Well, just when you think you hit rock bottom, you find there's a bloody trap, though. No bad news. Oh, you're getting good at this, aren't you? Golden hours check returned. Insufficient funds. Do us a favour, nip up there. See if you can find out what's going on. I didn't go to the match. Terry, do you want paying next week? And you can drop me off at Agmore on the way. Agmore? Yeah. Got to go see if I can persuade Greg it was all an accident. Yeah, right. Oh, well, I promised you what I'd try. I'll tell you what, why don't you see if he wants to buy a time share in Lanzarote while you're at it? Very funny. Oh, double glazes. By the front of the house, get it back to the house free. Yeah, you've got to show you get paid this week. Whoa, whoa! Look! Slow down. Are you blind, man? Come on, Harold, stop pissing about. Open the barrier. All in good time. A unicorn, a kilo, a November. Bloody will be by the time you've finished. A zero, a one. Christ, a every three. bloody day. We've been coming through here for the last two years. When are you going to use a bit of common sense? I don't get paid for common sense. I get paid for security. The world is under constant terrorist threat. Oh. And in that case, you better check under the tarpaulin. Thought I saw that Al Qaeda sneak under at last set of lights. No discipline nowadays, people. In my day, you had to have discipline. How old are you? Now, I'll go and check under the tarpaulin. Where do you find your pass? So, do you know if the maintenance contract's been sorted out? It's not my department, Hammond. Uh, see if you can get hold of a copy of the major incident book. It'll be under repairs and maintenance. I can't find it. All right. Well, you're not going through without it. Look, we've got to get these ridge tiles on. It's our last day. Not without a pass, it isn't. Our old. Don't be so bloody minded. No pass. No pass. So. How long have they called it Dino? Since the 1st of July, 1975. Oh, it's your real name. Sorry, I thought it was a nickname. Did your parents like Dean Martin? No, they like the Flintstones. Who? Cartoon family off the telly. If I was a girl, I would have been Pebbles. Oh. We don't have the TV on, unless it's David Attenborough or Agatha Christie. Or Carol Waterman. Oh, so, it's looking great. Send a letter of satisfaction to your management. Management? No. It's only three of us. Paul, Terry, and me. We met inside. Paul was on the painting and decorating course. He persuaded us to go on it. Well, and why weren't they in prison? Terry has got a history of violent behaviour. Troubled childhood. But he's been on the anger management course and he's more or less sorted now. And Paul? Paul's a good bloke. Should never have been inside. One lapse, lost control. Went too far. It's Paul who encouraged me to start writing in the first place. Oh. Cut this article out of the prison magazine. He said, writing in prison is like running away from imagination, but running away without being pursued. Oh, that's very perceptive. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And we got this writer in residence, and she said that it didn't matter that I wasn't any good at spelling and grammar and that, and that it was the creative process that was important. Sometimes, you've got to trust your hand and let it write without conscious direction. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Yes, yes, I do. the football. How's your arm? It's fine, how's the broken skin? Listen, I saw it come round on a Saturday. The check bounced, didn't it? Insufficient forms, yeah. This came this morning. We're being closed down. The residents are to be given a choice of where they want to go. What'll happen to Alice? I don't know. Do you want her? Uh, no. See, that's the trouble. Nobody does. They're giving us a fortnight's notice. <sighs> well, they've just given us a fortnight's notice too, then. I'm not with you. Who wants to have another two weeks without your money? Bought you another cup of tea. Thanks. Just got to gloss these pipes. Can't see him, but he wants them done. He would. <laughs> Won't be a minute. Good, because I need to clean when you're finished. <laughs> I'll leave it clean. No, I mean bleach and sif. Roger's cleaning rotor has A, B and C days. Today is a B day. <laughs> no, that's a B day. Um, you're very quick. <clears throat> I was thinking that if you liked, I could have a look at some of your writing. So I used to be an English teacher before, um, Roger, and, you know, I might be able to help with grammar and punctuation. Would you? Of course. So where did you teach then, before Roger? Oh, and, um, it was a girls' boarding school in Gloucestershire. It was where I went, actually, when I was younger, when my parents were away travelling. It was OK, you know. I mean, even though we weren't allowed off the grounds, except when it was Saturday afternoon and we could go to the pictures. Sounds like prison. No, we had a really good time. We had everything we could possibly want. Sounds like prison. Sometimes we'd break out in the night, in the winter when it had snowed, and we'd, we'd sneak out these um, slatted wooden chairs and use them as sledges. <laughs> At the risk of repeating myself. Wee! Oh! Oh no! Oh no, look! Look! All right, all right, it's not the end of the world. It's an accident. We all have accidents. It's a new carpet. He'll kill me. Well, will it come out? Well, no. It's quite a litre of gloss there. What am I going to do? Well, when they fitted the carpet, did they leave you any off cuts? Um, I think so. It might be in the loft. All right, well, you go and have a look for them, and I'll make a start on scraping this lot up. I think I'm a bit lost. What do you reckon? You've not seen a big lemon, have you? Well, apart from you, anyway. Yeah. Which way's Queen's Park? It's back the way you've just come from. What? I'd get a sprint on if I were you. It's dangerous around here. See if you can't find a toaster or a stereo to carry. Chance they might think you're one of them. You. You've got some explaining to do, you have. Uh, hello? Is that Baldur's hair? Yes, can I speak to Valerie, please? <clears throat> oh, well, <laughs> tell her it's Greg. <laughs> Greg? Hard G for it. Oh, yes, that's me. Uh, yes, uh, yes, I'll hold. Mm. You've not got me pants, have you? No. No. Brand new Farrah's. Oh, here. What do you think that is? Lime pickle. Scrape that off me balls. Oh, okay, will you, will you tell her to give me a call as soon as she's free? Oh, no, she's got my number. <laughs> ding -a -ling -a -ling. Yeah, uh, tell her it's urgent. Okay, yeah, cheery bye. So? Yeah, dead right. So... Well, what have you got to say for yourself, huh? 
abandoning me like that. Didn't abandon you. Really? Oh. Well, when I woke up in the park at half past five this morning with a banging headache, a busted nose and a pissing green streak in my hair, I don't recall seeing you there. The park? Yes, the park. You see, the last thing I remember was having a slash in the Indian. Next news, I'm waking up by the duck pond. So you don't remember going to Richie's? No, I... Oh, God. You don't think I've been date-raped, do you? No, you left the same time as us. We offered you a lift home, but you went off with that big redhead. Redhead? Oh. Yeah, yeah I vaguely remember that. Yeah, you said you were going off for a rough half hour in the back of your van with her. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, poo, Mr. Yates! <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe you got lucky. Maybe that's where your pants are. Oh, oh well, if that's the case, uh, apologies, mate. No offence. Oh. Is that you in there? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, George Hall had it made for me. Yeah, I steered him in the direction of a couple of local tradesmen. Yeah, he appreciated it. Yeah, you couldn't point him in our direction, could you? Well, you scratch my big ass. Absolutely. So, uh, any decision on the Hagmore estate, Tender? Well, you know, I, mean, I was going to bring it up last night, but you know, there's a time and a place for talking shop in there, and it's not over five bottles of wine. Five? All right. Oh, no wonder my mind's a blank. Tell you what, you hang on there. I'll go and see where we're up to with it. Yeah. There. Great stuff. I'll see if I can piece it. But you'll notice. You won't, trust me. I've done a bit of this. I could always pop round next week and fit a new one. Mind you reading my script. But you've got your own work to do. Oh, I'm uh, sure I can squeeze you in. around here. Look, the boss is out golfing. Uh, I'll get on to him about it later. Right. Well, um, could let us know as uh, soon as possible on him. We've not got a lot on at the moment, eh? No, you worry. I'm on a case. Mm. Little buggers! Oh, you saved my life. I wouldn't go that mad. I would. I bought you another cup of tea because you didn't get a chance to finish the last one. It's just a job. Thanks. You can tell me to mind my own business. Mm. But I get to meet a lot of people in this job. Work in their houses and get to know them a bit. And most of the time, well, you can sort of see it. See what? It. You know, them. Th they work together. They match. You and Roger... You're right, you should mind your own business. It's just his way he's always been like that. He's brusque. We have a lot in common. Chris, get... <coughs> Tonight, you never know. Might conjure up the magic of Roxy music. Never came near the class of T-Rex lyrically. What, like I love to boogie, jittable boogie? We'll see. What? Help. Oh. Pie genius, please, Dennis. Why weren't you the match? Something came up. I had to spend a couple of hours on the bathroom carpet with Mrs. Forsyth. Oh dear, you don't waste much time, do you? She spilled some gloss. Nice finish. A bottle, please, Janice. I'll get that. <sighs> Just had Mrs. Forsyth on the phone. Any idea where their TV remote is? Tell us a look in the bathroom. She was in a right state. Something about Hercule Poirot. Can't remember. And you've asked her with your cleaning stuff as well. Oh, no. What's my love? Go on for yourself. Hold on. Not showing a snubble tonight, no? No. Lost. God, he's a walking disaster. Hey, every credit to him. We should do something for charity in the pub. 
Somebody could sit in a bath of beans or shave their hair off. Hey, Terry, I reckon if I shaved all your hair off, no one would recognise you. I reckon if you shaved all my hair off, no one would recognise you, my friend. <laughs> Not over you, it's not my love. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yo, bro! <laughs> nice metal man! <laughs> hey, listen, you've not got my snowstorm, have you? No. Yo, oh, Terry, my man! I do not. You can go off and see you down there on a Saturday night. No, I thought I'd uh, come and hang with the lads. Yeah. Uh, thing is, I've not got much money to let them get to the cash machine. Yeah, I spent it all on me hair in the window. <laughs> you ever tried getting a glazer on a Saturday? No, no, I haven't. So, uh, so what can I get you? Large brandy. Uh, large brandy, if Janice, look, please. Yo, Dino! How's it hanging? To me knees. Way to go! <laughs> Ooh. Hiya, babe. <laughs> uh, my name's Greg. Oh, gee, you're a hard man. I know what to say. A hard man is good to find. If you get my drift. You've got an erection? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Cheers! <laughs> All right, Harold. Go off your pot before he comes down, I'll take over. No, you won't. Head of security's in. He's on the warpath and he wants to see you. Did the builders get finished? No, they didn't. And until they find their pass or are issued with a new one, they won't do. You are joking. More than my job's worth. Have you pissed yourself? What? I must have dropped off for a minute. I get these side effects. It means I've got to rest my eyes. Some stupid tablets. Oh, you take tablets for it, do you? Oh, you're in the clear, Harold. You stay here. I'm not finished with you. You see, uh, in the male and um, female sex worlds, things are very different. Women bob along, ebb and flow with the tide. As long as they've got an anchor, they're happy. See me? I'm an anchor. Can't even say it properly. Come on, boys. Let's go down the Ritzy. Find some real women. There's a nod in here. <laughs> I mean, look at her. Looks like E.T. with a hat on. That is enough. She is not wearing a hat. Right, Emma. What are you doing? I got sacked. Toilets. Now. Ooh! <laughs> Buddy boys. <laughs> what is it with you, Ed? Every single job you've had, you've pissed away. I was really trying this time, but I'm not going to record on, will you? Shit, how are you going to pay your keep now? Money depends on your money. I thought you could sort me something with Paul. We've no working. That's not it. You just think I'll screw up in front of your mates. Yeah, well, it does seem to be the only area in which you specialise. I've never known you do a decent day's work in your life. Yeah, that's because you weren't there for half of it. That's enough. Now, well, face it, Teddy, you don't care about anyone. You don't care about me and Mum, how we've managed, how I've nursed her through a broken heart. The only person you've ever cared about is yourself. Oh, all right, yeah, here we go. Same old, same old. If in doubt, punch someone's lights out. What happened to drain the brain, eh? Well, I'm sorry about the job. What can I say? I'm sorry. And I know you won't believe me, but I was. I was really trying this time. I liked it up there. I I'm on these tablets. Establish my ass. It's never your fault, is it? There's always some excuse. Teddy.
You are right. Yeah? I'm fine. <coughs> Hello? 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 Oh, hi, love. No, I'm stuck on the motorway. Total gridlock. I know. Yeah, I've got your code code on. We'll take some aspirin for now. What are you doing with that? It's, it's the exhaust blowing again. Oh, I'll see you bollocks. In the uh... <coughs> <coughs> the time is now, everybody. I have an announcement to make to the A to Z decorators. <laughs> I have to tell you that your uh, your tender for the Hagmore contract has been. Successful. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Brilliant. What the hell do I need this? <laughs> no contest. Well, so they were impressed with the tender, yeah? No, no, I mean, there literally was no contest. You were the only firm in for it. Seems no one else wanted to work in the shit hole. <laughs> so we could have quoted iron and still got it. Think of a number. But you said there was a short list. Yeah, there was. A very short list. <laughs> Come on. Signed and sealed. All we need now is your moniker. <laughs> Drinks are on, Paul! <laughs> Oh, come on, leave it. He hit the strudels and probably cleaned the nice wedge up the top for himself. He's taking the piss. Indian meals, drinks are on port. Isn't it? No, no. What is the matter with you tonight? A couple of days. Sorry. Well, let's just get the contract signed, yeah, Devin, and then we'll sort him out, all right? Celebrate good times. Come on, and be do boo be ba boo Oh, Sambucas. That's what we'll have, Janice. Flaming Sambucas. So you honestly didn't know that uh, no one else attended? I had an idea, yeah. But the boss didn't sign off on it till today, so there might have been a late bid, you never know. Oh, I think he did. <laughs> Your copy. Oh, are you there, boys? <laughs> Look at them. And hey, we drink him like that. I'm fire. Are you mental? Yeah, yeah, you can. Oh, you can't? Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, see, the trick is that you breathe out whilst you're knocking them back. So they can't burn without oxygen. That's right, isn't it, Greg? Correct the mundo. <laughs> so come on. Who's first? Oh. Hard G for hard man. Oh, bring it on! <laughs> hey, come on. Grab your hands. Hey. Look and learn. Just how dumb can you possibly be? Just genius, a pure genius. <laughs> Two years worth. Count them. Two years. <laughs> we are made, my friends, and this is only the beginning. Come on. Right, all back to ours for a few scoops. She looks so nice. At least she's working on A and E. Wait till she sees Greg. It'll make a night. <laughs> <laughs> you come back for a few, haven't you? Well, if it's all right with Terry, uh, I've got to make a small detour. Oh, God, Dana, what are you like? Finish for you yet? I come to use the toilet, and what do I find? What's that? I don't... It's shit, woman! S-H-I-T, shit! You haven't cleaned it, have you? Yes, I... No, you haven't! That hasn't seen bleach today, you useless cow! Well, I'll do it now. No, 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 no! Get out, get out! I'll do it! I'll do it! Get out! <laughs> No half measures when it comes to hygiene. <sighs> yeah, I know, it's fantastic. Yeah, I love you too. I'll do as it for you, eh? Put loads of deep heat on Greg's face for us, will you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you, bye. I'll post it through the letterbox. Do I have to do it for 
Liam Bassett. Hey, it's not our business. Thanks for bringing us in. Hey, no problem. Save waiting for an ambulance. <laughs> Every second counts. And he fitted in the boot just nicely, he bunched up like that. I thought we were going to lose him when the boot door came up. Yeah, it's a good job I wedged him in with that toolbox. Who's this? Hello. What can you bear with me a minute? So lucky you were passing. Eh, uh, wasn't luck actually. Oh, right. Fuck. They said he needed skin grass. If he could take it off his face. Sorry, poor taste. Marjorie! Oh, he needs me. Thank you for everything. Uh, will it uh, still be all right if I bring my writing round? Um, I don't... I don't think it would be appropriate. Marjorie! Yeah, see you then. So what you're saying, Sonia, is it won't be long till I can kiss in the French style again. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Sonia. Oh, hot dog. I love <laughs> <laughs> That was the head of security from the Willows Estate Art, right? Now, get this. It turns out that the rains brought the ceilings down in six of them new houses. They didn't have ridge tiles on. And they want us to redecorate once they're plastered up. Got to go around there tomorrow and give them an estimate. Why else? Because we've got the maintenance contract. Do we? Well, no. Yes, you do. I swap your card for this one. King Brothers. Oh, hammer, you little belter! <laughs> well done and all that, but how on earth are we supposed to deal with all this work? Expand. And I'll take on more men. What about Arnett? Reckon we owe him one. I don't know, he's not experienced. Very have. But that could be Mum's house top to bottom. I can strip a room faster than a fat clown being chased by a steamroller. I can. Well, just for the fat clown stuff, yeah, you can have a month's try. <laughs> <laughs> Who ordered oh. the flame grill zinger? <laughs> <laughs> Leave it, all right. <laughs> I never burn, I tan. Gypsy blood. Thought you were swarthy. Just don't. Just blame it on the sunshine. Blame it on the moonlight. Blame it on the boogie. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. I'd uh, take a Viagra tonight before you go to bed. Viagra? Yeah, you know, keep the sheets off. <laughs> Wait, wish yet you'd be constipated. See you tomorrow. Mm. Well done, big man. <laughs> oh, Chernobyl, how are your hands? You reckon you could hold a pipe, brush? You know it. Oh, what became of the likely life? Lemmy Henry stars in our next new comedy drama. It's called Berry's Way, and there's a sneak preview in a moment. Later tonight, Jamelia, Lamar and Corin Bailey Ray are among the stars at the MOBO Awards at 11.35.